All right, so good evening, good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good to see you over here. Good evening. Safe and sound, okay? Last, last date of November, and let's see tomorrow, I mean December, you know, surprise us. <laughs> All right. You know, hopefully uh, December is gonna be a great, a great month over here, okay? Uh, so let's see how many uh, participants do we have in here. Let's see. I'm gonna just mention your names, you know, just to say hello, and just make sure that you can listen to me just fine. So actually, you're, Lorena, you're the very first one over here, you know, on the top. So that's great. That speaks. That you know that that say that says a lot about your punctuality, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I like to be on class. Yeah, thank you. We have Alma, eh, Anna, Silvia, eh, Christopher, Mr. Fernando, Isabel Acosta. Yes, Frank just joined right now. Eh, who else joined? Good evening. Good evening, sir. Good to see you. Always Hi. with a couple. You're very casual tonight, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's great. That's what great. You? Yeah, me too. You must be on vacation already. That's why, right? Lucky you. <laughs> 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 vacation all right so isael welcome juan solis mauricio and arely over there all right so to start with let's go ahead please let's see okay just a friendly reminder i remember this was the last thing you did you know to talk about the, you know the great offers cachadas like in downtown right last last Thursday over here, okay? Remember that you talked about this, like which sweater do you prefer, et cetera, and then you say I prefer the blue one better because I don't like the other one, all right? But this is actually uh, something that we're not gonna be covering tonight. A friendly reminder everyone, this module ends, and you may think the teacher wants this to be over, not really, you know, I actually enjoyed this class, okay? And, uh, on December the 10th, and that is next Thursday, which means that up to this point, uh, you should have, I mean, you should keep on working on the platform and you have until next Thursday at midnight to finish the five sections, take the midterm exam and also take the final exam. That's it, all right? So here we go. I need to mention this because I think it's important you know, to mention this, object pronouns, okay? You know a lot, and I would say you know a great deal about subject pronouns, like I, you, she, he, did. And I think that's the first thing that we learn, okay, when studying English for the first time. So like we have I, you, she, he, it, they, uh, let's see, yes, they, these, choose, etc. All right, and then you say we. But what happens when you have these words? Me, you, her, him, it, like the movie, right? And then you have them, and then you have them again as well in there, and then us, all right? With the pronunciation on this one, it's like a zzz, like this, right? Like as, as, all right? to make the difference from another word that we're not supposed to mention right now, huh? Okay, so be careful with that. And uh, so subject pronouns take the place of a person or noun, okay? And in this case, an object pronoun, it's the one that gets the action received, the one that receives the action over there, okay? That subject pronoun is, okay, is, the doer in Spanish, el, el subject pronoun is el hacedor, you know, like God, you know, you may say that, like he in, 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 in capital letters, you know, in mayuscules. Right. And I have this example. And for this, I'm going to ask Mr. Mauricio Lima, you know, I need a gentleman right now. And then a uh, uh, beautiful lady is going to help me with point number two over here. All right. So, Mr. Lima, help me, sir. I'm going to read. The first part, hasta el punto, you know, that's what I'm going to read, until the, until the period. And then you take it in the second sentence. So, for example, I'm going to say, I love music, and then you tell me. 
It's... I love music. It might be happy. All right. Yo leo lo primero y usted me, me termina de contestar con el, el object pronouncer. All right. Okay. And then we, ho we, we go, uh, okay, so you are here. I did not see you. All right. Did you see Sue? I just saw her. Mm -hmm. I just saw her. So where is Tony? Tony did started. You, <laughs> did you see him? Did you see him? All right. So I like your jacket, eh, Mauricio. Where did you buy it? Where did you buy it? All right. My students are funny. You're right. I like them so much. Yeah, that's also true. I like them so much. And then we have uh, these shoes are dirty. I need to clean them. I need to clean them over. We will leave soon. He has a car tomorrow. All right. So it's like me telling you, okay, did you finish already? And then you can tell me. I think Lorena. Give us some more time, all right? Give us some more time, please. We're just practicing in the break room, right? <laughs> yeah, the teacher closes the break room in the middle of the practice. So, as you can see over here, so I love music, it makes me happy. So what are you making reference to? Like I, right? Me, you know, it makes me happy, all right? What? The music. You are here, but I did not see you, so maybe you, you hit. You, you hear it, you know, hear from me. Did you see Sue? Did you see her? Or I just saw her. Okay. Where is Tony? Okay. Did you see him? All right. I like your jacket. And there you go. Did you buy it? Now, just remember this. A pronoun replaces a noun or just a regular name. For example, I can say, um, I love country music okay i love country music i listen to it every single night all right so I, I i listen to kenny rogers for example cover of the county just to give you an example over there. okay so uh you use a pronoun when the name of the person or the name of the thing has been mentioned at least once okay at least once and and for the pronunciation, listen to me, please. For the pronunciation of uh, of this, you know, her and him, him. Es una bien chiquita. Him. You don't say him. You don't say him. You say him. And we close them out. All right? Him. All right? Her. Her. Enrollamos bien la lengua. You know, her. Her. All right? And we got it. 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 Y bien chiquita. It. All right? So with this one, if you want to be, um, I would say, a little bit lazy, or if you don't have the time, if you want to go the American style, you know, because these guys are always, you know, running, you got, you, you got to say, I saw her, saw her, saw her, saw her. You erase the H over there, saw her, right? Did you see him? Did you see him? All right. All right. You may go, but I don't suggest that because you may get confused, but sometimes... It just comes out of your mouth, out of your mouth, you know, naturally. O sea, tiene que venir de usted naturalmente. O sea, no fuerza, ¿verdad? So don't, don't force that, all right? But right now, just keep it simple. Did you see him? All right? Well, I just saw her. Well, I did not see you, all right? He makes me happy, okay? We have to... We have to be dramatic right now. When you're learning English, you gotta, you gotta be dramatic. <laughs> yes, you gotta be dramatic. This is the time for you to be dramatic. Si no lo no dejan en la casa, verdad, ser dramáticos, that's okay. You know, right now is the time for you to shine, okay? So, we will leave soon. Give us, give us a call tomorrow. Just one more thing. La fuerza de voz recae en el object pronoun, okay? The stress, you know, falls on the subject pronoun. I always make emphasis on the intonation. Remember, the intonation makes the difference. Okay, between a good and a bad English, you know, the intonation matters. I love music. Why? It makes me happy. It makes me happy. Okay, or, or who wants to participate? Me, me teacher, or me Jose, right? And then you tell me that, right? And point number two, right? 
and this is just grammar. The first person, blah, blah, blah. Okay, all your pronoun, me and us, refers to the speaker. It can be singular or plural, yes, because it can be a, my mom and I, it's we, right? Or us, right? But it can be just, uh, uh, you know, just I, which is me, you know, singular. So tell me a story, right? Dígame una de vaqueros. <laughs> okay, that's what you say, right? My teacher makes me laugh. Yeah, not me, right? But some other teacher over there. <laughs> All right. They help us a lot. Yes, they help us when you're working in a breaker room, right? You, they help us a lot, okay? Or, or you can say, like, así como, como, help us, please. You know, help us, please. Help us, please. All right? Did you, did you see us on TV? Did you see us on TV? All right? That one. Pongamos el énfasis, por favor, en los subject pronouns. That makes a difference over there. Me escucho así como hyper because I already, you know, drank a cup of coffee, so that's why. <laughs> Maybe two, right? So I don't want to lie to you. <laughs> All right. Just one thing, everyone. Most of the time, an object pronoun goes at the end of the sentence. Keep, keep that in mind, okay? An object pronoun goes at the end. Aquí no está el final, ¿verdad? Porque es un complemento. But he, but this one, yes, I did not see you, saw her, see him. So it's a pattern, o sea, es un patrón, all right? It's a pattern. It goes at the end, as you can see. Or after the verb, okay? Or it goes after the verb, like it makes me, and that is just a general truth. Es una verdad, eh, digamos, eh, única. You know, makes me. O sea, los subject pronoun go at the end of the verb. It makes me, you know, see you, so her, see him, buy it, like them, clean them, give us, etc. As you can see over there. All right. Uh, can I move forward? All right. Thank you. And I have another point for you. Um, point number three. Let me just take this away. The second person, blah, 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 you refers to the listener. It can be singular or plural. Yes, but th this only happens in Spanish when we make the translation as well. We can say, tú, vos, o usted, o ustedes. That's, that's what we can say. Tú, ustedes, vos, vosotros. Or like if you're from, from Spain. Like, I like you, all right? I will call you later. I like you guys, you know, in, in, in plural over there, okay? I will call you all later. What happens is that in the United States, they make a, a contraction over here. I will call you all. I don't think that's correct, all right? But so remember you make, uh, mean you're talking about, you know, just a, a person directly or just to a group of people, all right? Ustedes o usted. Or both or two. It's up to you. All right. Next point over here. The third person subject pronoun, him, her, it, and then, refers a person, people, thing, or things. I like Bob. I see him every day. I also like Sue. I often see her at the gym. Bob and Sue, o sea, ellos, you know, they, Bob and Sue, eat out often. I job them sometimes. Se van de bolsa, verdad? Solo fuera comen. They have, they have a horse. Okay. They let me ride it. Okay. They let me ride it. And number five, they have two cars. They never use them. Okay. Mm -hmm. They never use them over here. You know, them makes reference to the cars. Okay. It makes reference to horse. Then to Bob and Sue. Her to Sue, which is she, and then him to Bob. Okay? Any questions about this right now? We're good, right? I have a question. <laughs> uh, in the point two, um, uh, I, I, I read that... Uh, eh, about eh, no sé si lo puede retroceder. This one, part two. 
point two. Mm -hmm. In the last one, uh, did you see us on TV? Uh -huh. uh, did you watch? Uh, because it's uh, no. Oh, so you're asking, you're asking. Or what? Uh, <laughs> okay. The the thing is that she's asking you if you actually see a, a, a person or whether like see, you know. It's ver es see y mirar es watch. Okay. And that, that's a big difference. So did you watch TV? Yes, I watched TV, right? And mm -hmm. what did you and what did you see? Uh, I watched this and this and that series. No le puedo decir nombre de una serie por derecho de autor. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I cannot say that. But that's the difference. So watch is in general, all right? So it's in general. But if you say, what did you see? Ah, I don't know. I saw the news. Okay? Just like that. All right? Because when you, when you see, it's just stop, you know, to, to, to see what's going on. All right? But you watch it. Like, okay, you just watch it. You don't pay attention. Okay? Sometimes. Okay? So, so in that case, I'm going to tell you this. See me. Ah, no, mentira. Okay, see you over there, right? All right? So you can understand this a little bit better. Okay? Okay. <laughs> yes. Okay. And, and, you know, English is, is complicated sometimes because we have see, watch, and look. Okay. So, and the three verbs are used differently. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you can say, uh, look at this, and I'm holding this. Look, look at that. All right. So, and then you are seeing it. Right. Right. Just like that. Okay. Uh, all right. So, any other question? No. All right. So, in this case, let's go ahead and practice. All right. I have this, uh, as you know, these four uh, short conversations. Okay. The first one is, did you call me? All right. And then you have, who is your best friend? And next one, who's your teacher? Uh, uh, do you have my keys? All right, and then that's it. So let me send the access to this. But uh, first of all, let me put you into a uh, purse right now. All right. All right. So just one second over here. One moment. All right. So I'm gonna put you into purse first, and then I'll be sending just this very quickly to you. So one sec. And here we go. All right, so rooms are open. Uh, Carla, Roberto, Isabel, uh, Acosta with Isael, <laughs> very similar names over there. Juan Solis with Noemi, Arely with Jacqueline, Alma with Frank, Christopher with Jose, Fernando with Rosa, and Ernesto and Lorena Mauricio. Everybody join, please. Uh, in that way, you're going to help each other. Let me just get the information very quickly. Ok, ya, ya entiendo, este, no, no es, casa bien ahí. Ajá. Es, okay, exacto, no exacto. No sé si ahora ya se puso bien. Sí, ya, ya, ahí está bien. Pero es que en el celular no ahí puedo que usar que esta es, aplicación. Lo que tiene que hacer es eh, ponerlo en modo giratorio, la, siempre la, la pantalla, el stream. Ah, ok. Ok. Vamos con... Mm, ya vaya. cayó la, la primera, las... Sí. Ok. I am start me. Conversation number one. Do you tell me? Yes, I can you. Can you help me today? 
speak to you at 10. Great. See you then. Okay, conversation two. Mm -hmm. Okay. Who is your best friend? My best friend is Sue. Do you talk to her every day? Yes, I see her at school. I always meet her for lunch. Why do you like her? My love. My love. Okay. Okay. The number three. Okay. Empiezo usted. Okay. Who is your teacher? My teacher is Mr. Wilson. I like him a lot. Why do you like him? Well, he is nice and he always helps my, with my homework. So, no, he sounds nice. He is where well, I love him. Number four. Do you have my case? No, I put him on the table. Great, I see then what about my wallet? I think you sit, I think you sit on the counter. Really, I don't sit. I don't sit, así sería, ¿verdad? Creo que I sí, don't, I don't sit. Uh -huh. Will, I help you? One of you will find, find. Fighting, yo will find. One, one of us will find. Ahora inicio yo. Ok. Did you call me? Yes, I call you. Can you help me today? Sure. What can I do for you? Can you take me? Can you take me to school? Okay, I can teach you. Uh, thank. Great. See you then. Who is your best friend? My best friend is Sue. Do you talk to her every day? Yes, I see her at school. I always meet her for lunch. Why? Did you like her? She's not. Really, I don't see it. Well, la pronunciación del will en contracción no la puedo decir. Uh, well, what is, I, yeah, I can help you. We, what is it? Conversation fourth in. All right. Well. Ah, oh, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll. I'll. Como que diga I, luego I'll. I will. Well, I will help you. I help you. One of us will finish. Teacher, uh -huh. how do you say iniciar? Uh, which conversation it is? Okay. Uh, start, you may say. Start or begin. Okay, Juan Solis. Start. Number three. Start. Number four. Mm -hmm, yes. Okay. Do you have my keys? No, I put them on the table. Great, I see then. What about my wallet? I think you said it on the counter. Really? I don't see it. Will I help you one of you will find? Thank you. Is that it? Which one? Oh, me perdí. <laughs> es que esa pronunciación de la última oración para mí está complicada. Uh, will I, I help you? Will I? Will? And no, it's well. It's, it's, it's well. I help uh, you. I, I'll help you. I'll. Uh, I'll. Diga como will, al. Diga al. Okay. Al. I, well, I'll, I'll help you. Help, I'll help you. I'll. I'll help you. I'll. Diga como al, como Alfonso, al, I'll help you, uh -huh. I'll help you. I'll well, help. I'll help I'll, you. I'll help you, yes, I'll help you. Well, I'll help you. 
Uh -huh. One of use well find. Termina así uniendo las dos. One of us, one of us will find it. One of us ah, will find it. Find one, it. one of us will find, find it. it. Mm -hmm. All right, so uh, welcome back. Uh, two volunteers, please, to, to help me uh, practice. Thank you, Frank. All right, thank you. Anybody else, please? Me? me? And uh, Rosa, right? Yes. Right. Thank you. So let me share the screen with you right away, and then we go ahead. After you practice, I'm just going to stop. If you like to give you some tips, you know how to sound, I would say more naturally, but right now, lights, camera, action, please. Go ahead, please. The conversation is ready. I'm oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Go ahead, please. Sorry. Okay. Did you call me? Yes, I called you. Can, you. can you help me today? Sure. What can I do for you? Can you take me to a school? Okay, I can pick up you at, at 10 o'clock. Great, see you then. Only conversation one or two? One and two, and then I'm gonna uh, uh, ask two more participants, all right? Okay, Go ahead. number yes. two. Who is your best friend? My best friend is Sue. Do you talk to her every day? Yes. I see her at school. I always meet her for lunch. What do you like her? She's nice and funny. She makes me laugh. All right, she makes me laugh. Thank you so much, I appreciate it, perfect. Okay. All right, so two more volunteers, please. All right, Some, somebody say, okay, Lorena, and let me just expand this. Arturo, right? Yes. King, King Arthur, you know, King Arthur over here from Excalibur. <laughs> All right. So uh, I guess, uh, dear Arthur, you're going to be the man, right? <laughs> yes, King Arthur. Sure. Go ahead, please. Who is your teacher? My teacher is Mr. Wilson. I like him a lot. Mm -hmm. Why do you like him? Well, he's nice, and he always helps me with my work, my homework. He's so nice. He is. We all love him. Do you have my cake? No, I put them on the table. Great. I see them. <coughs> what about my wallet? I think you, you <laughs> set it on the counter. Really? I don't see it. Well, I help you. One of us will find it. If not, right, it just uh, walked away, right? So, lo cambió de dueño, caminó, you know, just like that. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's what happens over there. All right, so uh, let me just go back over here. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, so, I just need right now one volunteer, please. In this case, uh, it could be either a woman, you know, or a gentleman, you know, or a lady or gentleman right now. Who says me? Yes, I mean, somebody else? <laughs> me. All right, uh, who's, no, me. Okay. Or who said me first, sorry. The things that I don't have the screen over here. Yes, uh, or Roberto. Amen. Um, so you, you want to go ahead and do it, Roberto? So let's do a conversation one and two, and then Noemi help us with three and four. Okay? If you don't like, if you don't mind. Okay. So, uh, Mr. Jimenez, you're going to help me. You're going to ask the question, and I'm going to reply. I will reply. Okay? Go ahead. Okay. Sir. Okay. Do you call me? Yes. I called you. Can you help me today? Sure. What can I do for you? Can you take me so to school? 
Okay, I can pick up you up at them. Great. See you then. Who is your best friend? My best friend is Toy. Do you talk to her every day? Yes, I see her at school. I always meet for lunch, her for lunch. Why do you like her? She is nice and funny. She is makes me laugh. All right, so thank you, I appreciate it. Now, just listen to me, please. I'm just going to mute your microphones just for a second, okay? And this would be, uh, I, I would say the way uh, we should uh, pronounce this, all right? And we have, did you call me? All right? You, you got like, like uh, falling action over there, all right? And then we have, uh, did you call me? Yes, I call you. Can you help me today? Me, remember to emphasize uh, the uh, the object pronouns over there. So that's mandatory, right? It's a must. Okay, you are supposed to emphasize the object pronouns over there all the time. So can you take me, can you, can you take me to school? Okay, I can pick you up at 10. I can pick you up at 10, right? Pick you up, right? Right, I can pick you up. Great. See you then. All right. See you then. Just a clarification. Uh, I'm, not because uh, I'm your teacher or I'm your facilitator in a way. I'm like exaggerating this pronunciation. No, that's the way it's supposed to be. All right. That's the way it should be. So who's your best friend? My best friend is Sue. Do you talk to her every day? Do you talk to her? And you just make a pause every day. Yes, I see her at school. I always meet her for lunch. Why do you like her? You know, like her. Why do you like her? She's nice and funny. She makes me laugh. You know, she makes me laugh. Me. Because if you say it, she makes me laugh, so it's, it's, it sounds different. Oh, uh, who's your teacher? My teacher is Mr. Wilson. I like him a lot. You know, I like him a lot. That's what I say. Like, like him. You can say like him or like him. Right, we're, we're joining the two sounds over here. I like him a lot, like him a lot. I'm like him a, a lot, a lot, right? Well, a lot, right? Like him a lot. Why do you like him or why do you like him? Why do you like him? Kim, Kim. Well, he's, he's nice and he always helps me with my homework. There's a mistake over here, all right? There's a mistake. He sounds nice. He is, we all love him, all right? Or we all love him, okay? It's up to you, love him or love him. But in this case, we make this uh, connection more than love him, right? Do you have my keys? So Arthur, keys, yes, yes. all right? Keys. If, you, if you say kiss, con ese, a beso, right? But you gotta say keys. Keys. Imagine, Arthur, just imagine that I ask you, would you like a, uh, this kiss from me? <laughs> <laughs> be careful, sir. Be yeah. careful. Be careful. I mean, be careful, you know. Apariencia vemos, verdad, pero mañas no sabemos. Be careful, sir. Yes. So that's why you got to be careful on this one. So keys. So do you have my keys? Yes. Yes. All right. We got to make we got to make a conscious, a conscious effort to say keys, keys. Okay. So Arthur and, and everybody else, if you don't say that because we don't have it in Spanish, at least for keys, we gotta try. Okay, we gotta try. Tenemos que intentarlo with keys, keys, all right, keys. Do you have my keys? All right. No, I put them on the table. Great, I see them. What about my wallet? Wallet, 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 all right, wallet. I think you set it on the counter or counter. Set it, set it on, set it on, set it on. Remember, la T se hace R y como tenemos doble, se, set it, set it on, set it on. I think, I think you, I think you, le quiero poner la, le quiero echar la culpa, right? I want to blame you, Arthur. You know, I'm, I'm your wife right now. I think you set it on the counter. I, I think you set it on the counter, right? 
Now you see the point over here. We're emphasizing the object. We're blaming you. Lo, lo estoy culpando o lo estoy dando las gracias. All right. I'm blaming you and I'm saying thank you. Really, I don't see it. I don't see it. I don't or I don't. Wrong, wrong. La de, la de, si usted gusta, la hace er. You know, you can make it. An, 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 I don't see it. Or I don't see it. Well, I'll help you. Or you can say, I'll help you. Al, como Alberto. I'll help you. All right. It's not too recommended, but that's what they say. You know, I'll help you. Eh, Fernando, you were saying, it's difficult for me to say it. You were saying that, Fernando. But if you say, I'll help you. You don't have to say, I'll help you. Fernando va a llevar otro COVID, you know, before we actually say it right. So, well, I'll help you. One of us, one of us. In este caso, ladies and gentlemen, la F se hace V, right? V. One of us, one of us will find it. Maybe you realize now, ya se dieron cuenta, you realize that in English, these guys or these people, you know, men and women, make connections all the time. All right? All right? They make connections all the time. So one of us, one of us will find it. Find it. One of us will find it, all right. Okay. Yes. Okay. And you know, I think that a conversations is a, a great way to practice uh, your English and to show what you know over there and to learn as well. Okay. Let's continue over here. You thought that I have forgotten, right? But I, I didn't <laughs> about this. All right. So take a look. Tonight's word or this evening word is. Uh, Le vamos a dar permiso, ¿verdad? Give the green light, all right? Give the green light, all right? You may say, so teacher or Jose, why are we talking about this? Last week, uh, the president of El Salvador gave a big announcement related to COVID-19, okay? So he mentioned that this coming year in the first semester, and I just, you know, paraphrasing okay the news he said that next year in the first semester uh, he's going to I mean, he already bought he said two million vaccines for our people okay and then but first he needs to he needs to uh get the green light all right or i would say the uh who which is the world health organization and the fda which is the food drug administration from the United States and some other organizations need to give uh, the, the green light. In other words, give permission for the COVID-19 vaccine to be used in El Salvador, all right? So give the green light means to give permission for someone to do something over there. Okay, just that, that's it. Si el niño quiere salir a la calle, you know, if you're, I don't know, want to go to, to play soccer, or quiere ir a la barra Vietnam, a la barra brava over there, you know, in, in, in the stadium, you gotta ask permission, you know, you gotta ask permission over here. So give the green light. And this is a literal translation, traducción literal, all right? This is a literal translation. Give the green light, all right? Dar luz verde, right? Like the street, like the traffic light. It means to allow someone to do something, okay? For example, Recently in Apopa, as I said last time, a new shopping mall, you know, uh, has been opened. And I'm not supposed to tell you the name because of the copyrighted thing. But you know, they, they were supposed to get permissions first. In other words, the council, o sea, la alcaldía, gave them the green light. Le dieron permiso, o la autorización, you know, the authorization. And here we have a two-way street, ¿verdad? Es una calle de dos sentidos. You know, it's a two-way street. Why? Because as, as a parent, como papá, I would say, like, as a parent, you give permission, you know? You give the green light to your children or to your husband or to your wife, all right? At least, I may say. And you can also get the green light. O sea, obtiene, o, obtiene permiso o sacar permiso o le dan permiso. It's up to you, all right? <laughs> Right, you say I want to go out with my friends, you know, con los amiguchos, right? And then, so it's up to your wife if she gives you the green light or or not. Okay. Examples from you.
Any any examples, everyone? Um, I need green green light to go to the party. Uh huh. Yes. We gotta wait a little bit, Arthur. You know, it's not December twenty fourth yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And and still, COVID nineteen is is you know just around the corner over there. You know, it's. All right, let's let's move on over here. So, unit four. I really like hip hop. Okay, that's the name of the unit. And what what are you going to study in this unit? Uh, you're gonna talk about likes and dislikes. Okay, related to the music industry, for example. Okay, and you're also going to talk about making invitations and excuses, saying no, I don't have the time, you know, etc. Besides this, you're going to uh practice yes and no questions and also ws questions we do all right and for me it's important for you to practice or at least to know the difference between the intonation which is rising and falling intonation okay you're gonna learn this expression or at least practice what kind or what type also object pronouns also it's not it's not just because i want to teach object pronouns no it's actually part of the curriculum all right to, to practice the object pronouns which we already practice and also we're going to study model model verbs would you know would would all right verb two plus verb like would you like to like arthur would you like to go out you may say uh, hold on jose hey, i need to ask i need to get the green light from my wife <laughs> 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 of course, Lorena is saying, no, you're not going now. <laughs> but that's okay. All right, so I really like hip hop. That's the name of the unit. As I said, let's talk about music, but we gotta be careful because no, no brands, no marcas, right? Movies, yes, we can mention movies over there and TV programs. Yes, I can say we can make like deal or not deal, right? Trato hecho. Entertainers invitations and excuses, dates and times. But enough with this, all right? Take a look at this. I'm going to present to you two graphs, okay? Two graphs. And this is, I would say, a, uh, like we say, a cake, and that's the name actually in English, a cake, uh, like a pie, okay, graph. From back 2015, only five years ago, all right? Take a look at rug. 35, 30% of the, of the people that, that were interviewed said that they like rock, you know, including all the classic rock over there, like ACDC and the one that came here in the suburbs, so was Iron Maiden, et cetera, right? So among others, all right? Among others, like Nirvana, for example, okay, Camps and Roses, and we can, you know, move on over there. <laughs> all right, so, but, Country music is still 10%, pop is 19%, which is high. R&B and hip hop is 22%, etc. So if you move this circle uh, clockwise in, uh, in, in la dirección de las agujas del reloj, clockwise, mm -hmm. you're gonna see that the rock is still very uh, current. But that's muy actual, 30%, back in 2015. R&B, which is like Bruno Mars sings this, you know, it's still, uh, I would say current and popular, 22%, you know, Americans. And pop is still 19. I think this is also uh, like uh, uh, Katy Perry, I think that's the name. And then country like uh, Kenny Rogers, etc. right? So, and Tonight like, Do yes, like Dolly, uh, what's the name? Dolly, uh, I forgot her last name over there, but she sings beautifully, country music. Etc. Latin, it would be in Spanish. So thank God that it's only 5%, including these uh, reggaetoneros and everything. It's only 5%. All right. But it's still, it's a lot. A lot of people in the United States. And then we continue with EDM, which I actually have no idea. Uh, Christian gospel at 3%. And seasonal, just let's say for summer. Jazz, still popular. You know, 2% out of 300 million people, it's a lot, I would say. All right classical, etc. I think in rock, 
the Beatles, you know, fit him in this category, you know, the Beatles, because there's the rock and roll as well over there. So back in 2015, okay? And look at this, it says, I have talked to many people, especially those from the Generation Max demographic. I think that it's like people uh, between 30 years old or more or less, I'm not sure about this. But they say generally they believe that rock genre or is dying, I don't think so. I don't think so. What do you think? Do you think that the uh, uh, rock is dying, that people don't listen to rock? Maybe in, in Spanish and English, you know? You may say yes or not. But you, you can answer to me later on, okay? You know, this one, this, this other graph over here, you know, a bar, uh, let me just close something over here, all right? This one is from two years ago. 2018, and then they said that hip hop is still up there. But you see, hip hop and rap and, and rap is 21.7 percent, pop is 20 percent, rock is 14 percent. So now, uh, uh, rock has been, I would say, moved. You know, moved back from the top. Now it's, it's on third place over here. Five years ago, you know, people say, yeah, we love rock, 30 percent, but now it's 14% and hip hop and rap are 20, 21%. This is in the United States. We don't know here in El Salvador. I don't know, maybe new generations like teenagers, they listen to uh, reggaeton too much, I would say. Mm. All right. But this is just a brief introduction for you. Okay, we don't really need to uh, get picky on this. All right. But there's a question over here. A conversation, all right. Who is your favorite singer? Okay, we're going to study this in, let's say in a couple of seconds, but first, let me just explain something very quick, all right? And I'm not gonna explain this right now, I'm gonna go back to this in a second. Pronunciation, please. And if you have, I don't know, a red pen or something else like highlighters or something, I want you to uh, keep an eye on here, please. And what I'm talking about is this, intonation in questions, you have, Yes, no questions, and you also have WH questions or information questions. And let's try to remember this. For a yes, no question, you start low and then you go high, all right? In other words, rising intonation, all right? Rising, I'm gonna put an R over here, all right? It's rising intonation, but if it's, a WH question, you start high and then you go low, all right? In this case, we're gonna put an F, okay, over here. What I mean is the following. If you ask a yes or no question, you, you start like, uh, did you take a shower? You go just like this, right? Did you, did, you, did, you, uh, did you watch TV? You go like this, right, all right? And then if it's a WH question, you start like very strong over here. Like, like, what kind of music do you like? What did you do yesterday? Okay. What programs do you like? What games do you like? I'm reading this, by the way. What instrument do you play? Okay. Do you like TV? Do you like video games? Do you play a musical instrument? All right. Obviously, I'm exaggerating right now, of course, but just keep in mind that if it's a yes or no question, you finish like strong. If it's a WH question, you know, you start, you know, with a great energy, okay? One more time, if it's yes, no question, you know, you start like, okay, did you take a shower? But you go like up, okay, in the end. But if it's WH question, you go with a lot of energy. Okay, what did you do yesterday? All right, did you watch the news? I mean, that's, that's not the way, that's, that's, just, that's not the correct way to say it, right? Like, did you watch the news, right? In a yes, no question, in other words, usted muestra el interés al final de la pregunta. You know, you show the interest in, a, in the end of the question, all right? So try to remember that, everyone, all right? Uh, yeah. But you're gonna have the opportunity to practice in this class. Let me just go ahead and explain this very quickly. Uh, let's see, Frank, can you help me, sir? Yeah. 
All right, so you asked the question, please. So this is your opportunity to, you know, to practice. Remember, if it's a yes, no question, the last part should be, you know, up, all right? All right, with intonation. If it's a, a, a WH question, you start very high, you know, like very energetic, and then you go down. Okay. All right, so we you, you, you ask the questions to me, please, and then I'm gonna answer to you, all of them, please. Go ahead, please. Do you like country music? Yes, I do. I love it. Uh, oh, no, I don't. I, I don't like it very much. Okay. Does she play the piano? Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, she does. She plays very well. No, she doesn't. She doesn't play an instrument. Do they like Green Day? Yes, they do. They like, they like them a lot. No, they don't. They, they don't like them at all. Uh, they don't like them at all, at all, at all. Para nada, at all, para nada. All right. What Next kind one. of music do you like? I really like hip hop. What does she play? She plays the guitar. Who do they like? Uh -huh. Who do they like? All right. Who do, who do they like? All right. This is a little bit more complicated. They like Coldplay. And then we have the object pronouns, me, you, him, her, it, us, and them, okay? And the emphasis over here is what kind of or what type of music do you like, all right? What kind of food do you like, all right? What kind of uh, TV program do you like, all right? And who, let me, let me, let me give you a tip over here. It's, you, you may say, okay, uh, Jose, uh, this is difficult to remember. You know, I don't know if, I, if, I, if I'm able to do it, like to remember, I, I, got, I gotta go, do you like country music? Or what kind of music do you like? If it's a, an information question, it's going to, you're gonna say it naturally because when you ask like why, who, where, or like reasons, you know, you stop to think like, mm, so uh, what kind, you know, what kind of, you know, what kind of music do you like, all right? You just do it naturally, right? And that's the way you do it, okay? All right, uh, what did she do last night? Mm -hmm. And you start thinking, right? Okay. And uh, that, does he play the piano? You go like, okay, uh, they should, uh, and just like that, right? Right? Come on. All right, just like that, right? And what you're gonna do right now before you go, Okay, it's not gonna be this part, you know, this grammar. We're gonna leave this for for uh, for tomorrow. Okay, I'm going to skip to this part. All right, I want you to practice this. The one that says our group favorites, and you're gonna ask uh, in pairs, or let's say maybe in groups of three, these questions to your classmates. What's your favorite kind of music? All right. Uh, what's your favorite kind of movie? What's your favorite TV program? What's your favorite song, uh, movie, etc.? So let me get a screenshot right now and put you in groups of three and then ask this to everyone over there, right? Just to put, remember to practice, you know, what's your favorite, etc. Okay? okay? Any questions about this? All right, yeah, I know you're tired, and, but we gotta, you know, do our best right now. So one second over here. All right. Hold on. So right now you're gonna be in groups of three, okay? Here we go. Last activity of, of the evening, all right, go ahead, please. Let's try to do it quick, you know, before 9.03, okay, 9.02, we got to come back over here.
era hacer las preguntas, vea. Yes. What mm -hmm. your favorite kind of mm -hmm. music? Mm -hmm. My five favorite kind of music is salsa. Or, or okay. I'm sorry, you, you can also say, I'm sorry, you can also just say, uh, it's, it's salsa. You can say, uh, I like, uh, um, Mm. And you say the name of it, right? Right. Okay. Uh, what's your favorite kind of movie? My favorite. My, oh, my. See, my favorite kind of movie, creo que sería. Movie is. The Lord of Ring, creo que es. The Lord of Ring. All right, so hello everyone. Uh, you can also just say it just like this. So what's your favorite kind of TV program? And you say it's, and you say the name. You don't have to say my favorite, et cetera, right? So it's not necessary. But if you wanna practice, you can do it. I mean, but in, in real life, <laughs> you don't say my favorite. You just say, uh, just say the name, right? Or whatever, that's the point. Okay. And Rosa, what's your favorite song? My favorite song. I don't have any favorite program. I never see TV. You never watch TV? I never watch TV. I don't have no no one. No time, right? Oh, okay. Time, yeah. Because yeah. I'm cooked. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> <laughs> a 24-7 mom, right? And professional as well. Mm -hmm. And making the, the, the homework for the teacher. What kind hey. of... <laughs> what's your favorite song, TV? My favorite song is... Mm, don't be stupid. Mm, mm. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> who was it? Who's the singer? You say song, right? Who's the singer? Huh? You say favorite song. song, right? Favorite song, or what? What do you ask? Yeah. Well, don't be, don't yes. be stupid. Uh -huh. And um, who's who's the singer? Is the singer uh, Shania Twain? Country. Ah, country. All country. right. Okay. And nice. Fernando. Um, you I can don't say have. you don't have a favorite. Uh, what, what, but uh, Fernando, what's the song that you listen to a lot? Mm, I don't have. I don't have. You don't song. have. You don't have. All no, right. No. Do you like I don't know rancheras or no something? No, no. <laughs> es demasiado variado. Entonces. Okay. No. You like. That I don't know the name, but, but it's, I, I like it. Uh, this, Yo quiero chupar. Ah, that one, right. <laughs> that one, right. Yeah, it, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's sticky, right? Cheesy, right? Pegajoso. Pegajoso, I like that. Yeah, it's sticky, I, um, right? Because I like to say. Oh, okay. What's That's right. Movie? <laughs> What's your favorite movie? What's your favorite movie? Okay. My favorite movie is The Notebook. That's a great movie, right? That's a great movie. With this Canadian guy. And you Ro me? With, with Roseland. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, we No, sorry? Sam? You don't have any favorite movie? Forrest Gump for me, you know. You don't ask me about Forrest Gump. It's a great movie. Mm -hmm. I don't have any movie favorite. <laughs> Frank, you video game favorite? You what is your favorite video game? Because I don't have any video game. Uh, okay. No, I I don't really played anything. But I would say when I was a child, I, I, I my favorite was uh, Mario Bros. Right, that one. That's everyone everyone's favorite, right? <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. yes. Yes. So I will have a video game. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't even have this candy thing game on my cell phone. I don't have that either. So. <laughs> I like R and B.
Okay. What's your favorite kind of a uh... All right, so um welcome back. It's time to say goodbye. It's just one thing to mention over here. Uh, when you ask what's your favorite kind of music, for example, you can just reply, it's uh, country, or you may say it's pop music or R&B. Uh, but if you wanna say my favorite kind of music or type is uh, country, that's okay, no problem, all right? But you can also just say, what's your favorite TV program is um, El Chavo del, you know, and then you say, right? And that's, that's the way it is. Okay, so I hope to see you tomorrow, nine o'clock. I don't promise anything, but I try to be, you know, at nine. <laughs> nice to see you tomorrow. Nice to see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye, Bye. 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 Bye, everyone. Okay, see you tomorrow. Have a great night. In great week. All right. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, teacher. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. 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 Goodbye.